Hello everyone, Elvin Archer here. Now today, we're going to be reviewing this beautiful old bow. Just kidding, we're gonna break it, but it's for science. There are not a whole lot of videos of catastrophic failures in bows, because it's hard to catch on video. It generally happens when you're not filming, wouldn't you know? So, I bought this bow at a garage sale for $5, and I knew for $5 there had to be something wrong with it, but I bought it anyway, because even if it didn't work, I had this video in mind. So I got it home and I noticed this, and also this. So there is a crack in the wooden lamination, and there's a full delamination pretty much all the way through this portion of the limb. Now that makes this pretty much unrepairable. If this was a longer bow, you might be able to fix it, but on a bow this short, that's a working part of the limb. Before we begin here, I'd like you to know that I told this bow from the beginning that it was never going to grow up, meet a lovely compound, and have some beautiful hybrid bow children. That is not this bow's fate, and it accepts that. And now we can move forward with peace of mind, knowing that I've accounted for this bow's feelings before I destroy it. The plan is, I'm going to get uh, some PPE on, I'm going to string this up, and then just pull it back as quick as I can. If I pull it back slowly, those limbs will probably just peel apart, and that's not very interesting to watch. How many weird GoPro mounts have I done? I've done, we had sword cam, we had unicycle cam, and we've got bow cam. Or bow, we got limb destruction cam. So, check that out. Even before we, before I even drew it back, you can see that that lamination popped up. All right. Okay, well, half delaminated already, but. Mask on, hood up. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> well, GoPro has not had a good time on this channel, but that was pretty interesting. So you could see that one side lifted up long before, uh, before I actually drew it back. It sort of held together, but man, that's really popping apart. Let's try to let's try to just pull it back until it fully comes apart. Go. Now that's a lot of damage. Once again, this bow was never going to be functional. That was not a repairable damage right there. So it was going to be a wall hanger and I don't have any wall space. This I feel is a better use of it. We got to see what might happen if your bow delaminates. This one was fairly tame. I have seen a lot worse happen at archery ranges, and I think that's just because it was already pretty well cracked, so it kind of just peeled apart. It's also pretty cold out here, which does make the glue a little bit more brittle, but very interesting to see. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Archer out. So you see here we've got this pretty cool bow. It's got this kind of orcish design to it. Um, it doesn't fling arrows super well. I mean, you could definitely hope for a bit more performance out of it, but I, I suppose it's all right seeing as it is uh, just one uh, strip of fiberglass on the back there. But yeah, very cool bow. Would definitely recommend buying this one.